And many Americans are counting down the days to the total solar eclipse. This rare event is expected to generate record-breaking travel and spending. Major cities are prepping for a much-needed economic boost. Here's ABC's Rena Roy with the story. Tonight, the countdown is on with just eight days until that once in a generation total solar eclipse. I don't know if there are words to describe the level of excitement I have. From Texas to Maine, 31 million Americans across 13 states in the path of totality, where the moon will completely block the sun, creating sudden darkness for about four minutes and a temperature drop of roughly 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Millions of eclipse chasers expected to travel for a front row seat. The phenomenon projected as the year's largest mass travel event in the U.S. The FAA expects this to be the busiest week of spring, forecasting more than 50,000 flights on Thursday alone and warning of potential delays. I think many communities are also going to see tourists unlike the numbers that they've ever seen before. Towns and cities in the eclipse's path bracing for an influx of visitors. There's approximately 10,000 rooms available. And to the best of our knowledge, that most of those are sold out. The Myers family driving 1,500 miles from Florida to Dallas, Texas. We booked our room back in the fall, maybe October, November. Hundreds of schools closing or dismissing early for the day. Local officials expecting heavy traffic. These are going to be small roads that don't normally see tens of thousands of people that could potentially be seeing tens of thousands of vehicles. And it's really no surprise that sky watchers are flocking from all around the country for this. Here in the lower 48 states, we won't be seeing this again for another 20 years. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Now for a check.